Hey everybody, Wayne again, coming at you from Lion Camp in Zambia's iconic South Luangwa National Park. If you look just behind me here, over my shoulder, I've got three lionesses lying there. And this afternoon I'm going to take you on a spectacular trip from the sun going down into the night and show you some amazing animals that we have here in South Luangwa. For those of you that are a little bit sensitive to blood, I have put a little section of the clip right at the end of the video. <clears throat> there is a warning, so you don't need to miss the whole video. You can enjoy the whole, the whole clip, just close your eyes at the end. So you'll see the warning. Close your eyes if you're sensitive to blood. If not, enjoy nature at its absolute wildest. Guys, enjoy Put your feet up, it's time of the evening for maybe a gin, maybe a beer, whatever you fancy. But grab that, get it tight in your hand, turn the volume up, sit back and enjoy. What a beautiful baby you've got, girl. Huh? Hello, girl. Let's look how incredibly dexterous that trunk is. It's like a hand just delicately picking up the pods. That's so beautiful. You know I nearly drove over your tail there. Yeah. A beautiful pulse fishing arm. Wow, look at this. What a beauty. This is not something you see every day. This is so awesome. I've been in the South Luangwa now for three years and this is only the third pulse fishing arm I've seen and this is the best viewing I've had of it ever. This is incredible. Beautiful white-tailed mongoose hunting. It's catching frogs and insects near the water's edge here. So here we have a little ground hunting spider. So they form part of the primitive spiders and they don't build a web to catch their prey. They have little burrows normally where they sleep during the day and then at night they come out and they hunt their prey down by running it down. Therefore hunting spider. 
You can actually see these guys at night with the spotlight from a distance away. Their eyes actually shine. So we're standing quite straight up above him so you won't see the shine in his eyes. From a distance you actually get the shine of the eyes. I'm actually hoping that shining the light on him will attract some insects, but it seems like I'm just getting covered in insects here. Ah, oh, so cool. Look at the civet. He's having a good dinner. Catching all the little bugs and insects. <laughs> it's just a battle getting the spotlight to stay in one place and form at the same time. This is so cool. He's having a good old feast. Oh my word, look at this. Black neck spitting cobra. What a find. How absolutely amazing. They are probably one of my favorite snakes ever. Big adults, they're just so beautiful in the sun. They're just the shiny, that iridescence. So beautiful. Oh, we've got a porcupine. Awesome, man. <coughs> As I came around the corner, I just saw his mate run up into the bush. I was hoping to catch him. Fortunately, he just stayed. Didn't run like his mate. Oh, he's so cool. Brilliant is that camouflage. See the bird in the picture there. Right in the middle. There we go. A night jar. Line there in the background. Oh, awesome. Hey, <laughs> so hyena just got chased off by another hyena, a little scuffle. But yeah, they're coming to sort out their territory again, mark their territory. You see the anal gland there of that one as he walks away. bones of the buffalo's pieces there, it's cracking them, crunching them as if it's absolutely nothing. Look at that. So this beautiful chameleon just sitting out on the edge of the branch here, just parking off, giving us a little beady eye there. Now at night they tend to come out and what I've noticed in this area is that they come out in the western side of the bushes, obviously to grab the last bit of sun warm themselves up for the night. And if we thought this evening couldn't get any better, look at this. It's amazing male leopard and he's so relaxed. We've got a fleeting glimpse of this guy the other evening. But look how relaxed he is. This is awesome. 
The hyena calling in the background there. Lioness has just made a kill now and the male just comes and takes it away from them. Can't believe it. They killed a young impala. It's not even yours to have, dude, seriously. So the two lionesses, the two of the three lionesses killed this young impala and they never even had a chance to take a bite out of it and this young male came and took it away from them. They didn't even try and fight, with it, fight him off, they just immediately left him with it and they've gone off now so I'm going to see if I can try and find out where they are. Leave this guy to his juicy meal. Alright, first of all, I'm going to apologize. I don't think the image quality is going to be very good on this, but my battery went flat on my M50, so I'm having to film this with my Canon camcorder. But I was following the one female, and she just took off like something bitter in her backside, and she just ran. So I switched off, I thought she was trying to get away from me, and I sat for a while, and then the other female came walking past the vehicle, right past the vehicle, and a few minutes later, I heard the little girls in the fighting, and I followed up on it, and there they had just killed, the, well, the one female had killed the adult impala, so the two of them had a great meal, so the Big male sat with his little baby in parlor and these two girls got themselves a decent, decent meal, man. Oh, this is incredible. With two kills in one night. It seriously it blows your mind, man. This is excellent. Alright everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to wrap that up right there. And I sincerely hope that you each had your beverage of choice throughout that drive. I know I'm back at home now, so I can have my beverage of choice, being responsible, not having to drive, and a good old Zambian Mosey. Guys, look after yourselves. Take care. Cheers, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers, cheers. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> my